Well, what we're doing here, we're trying to clean all these graves of our loved ones. We want to make sure that they get clean instead of having all these weeds because we care about them. We still love them. Yeah. And I remember them. I remember Juanita Gomez. Uh, she died in the, during the Depression in 1935. She died of uh, uh, diphtheria during the Depression. Then he had the shots in. And who, who was that? that Juanita was? Gomez was my sister. Your sister? She was two years older than me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And who else is buried okay, here? Okay, uh, Gloria, she follows uh, my sister Betty. Gloria Goma, she's buried over there on the second unit over there, second block. And uh, and then Matilde, she, he followed my sister Mary Lou. And he's buried over there by where Gloria is. <laughs> Who's buried right here? This Stop is Alfonso Guerrero. He passed away when he was 10 years old. And this is Grandpa Sam's little brother. He was just a little kid, He no? was just little, little. He got sick, and they couldn't afford to take him to the hospital. How did this one pass away? Pneumonia. Pneumonia. And back in those days, you had to make arrangements when you went to the hospital that you were going to pay with this and that, and they didn't have arrangements made for him. Oh, so he passed. So he passed away. Ten years old. Yeah, we're gonna dance. We're gonna have a. I'm gonna buy the kind of wine you had at your house. Uh, primarily, right now. Friend of mine that was that was killed that was killed in uh, uh, the landing in uh, Europe. He's buried here too. Uh, yeah, his, his name, his name is, is is Lupe Lasso. Huh? And my wife knew him pretty well. It's Lupe Lasso. Yeah, Lupe Lasso. <laughs> Who is this right here? Grandpa Sam's grandma. Give it to great grandma. Pull it to me. Wow. Whoa. What do you say? Give it to great grandma. Give it to great grandma. Did she win? She won. Awesome. Rose Garcia. 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 Rose, Garcia. Rose Garcia. Rick Garcia. Oh, oh that's Mary grandma. Connie, what? Grandma. Mary Connie Guerrero. Oh, my sister Guerrero. Yeah. Oh, oh, Connie won. Yay. Oh, Connie. Oh, Connie got it. My sister Connie. You won. You won. <laughs> They picked your name. They picked your name to join. Oh, 
Yeah. How nice. He'll be okay. The bake for the cans. $10. There's two $10 prizes. You want $10? $10. That's what you need. I knew I was going to win. I won. Oh, yeah, Nana. Oh, yeah, Mama. There you, you go. Want to what, if, what if I did? Well, I haven't cut weeds since I moved out the lake. This is literally the easy life, though. The Grandpa grew in a very uh, a poor section of the Guerrero family. His mother died when he was seven years old. Lost his mother. And he left his brother, Fabian, the oldest, and Pierre, and Manuel, and Gregorio. He was a baby. And that's what his grandpa said. Had to give that baby away to his daughter because they didn't have no children. So that's how Roy was. Uh, Gregorio was raised by an aunt and uncle, Mendes. Uh, and uh, they didn't want the little baby to leave the house. She says, he says that he's experiencing mom laying in bed and they went close to her. She was gone. Dead. Huh. So he experienced that himself. His mom. Fabian and him and, and, uh, and yeah. Oh yeah, that was I took that picture. That I took that years old. That was and a, is that, that, that the one who's that's the one who's buried here? No, they had was a grandpa. Oh, last year's harvest. Yeah, your, I your took grandpa. That out of my phone. She was all happy. This year, who worked in the mill? Women and uh, yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> he used to, he used to blow. Hey, we did, uh, uh, so, I really felt sorry for the lifetime of your dad, Grandpa, because he didn't enjoy his mom and dad like we all do, you know? Yeah. He liked him that. And so I tried to, um, well, I really didn't want to marry him. I turned him down three times. <laughs> But on the third, third time, I, I looked at him again and I said, oh, maybe this is a one good husband for me. Third time's the charm? Yes, third time. <laughs> I told him, yeah, I'll marry you. Yeah. So we're still here. We're still here. All right, Aunt Connie. <laughs> How are you? Good. Your tamales were good. Thank you. Very, very good. Yeah. They were delicious. All right, Uncle Sam. Yeah. I'll see you later. Where are you going? We're going home. Okay. Okay, you take care, okay? I think it's important that we do this to keep everything real clean and keep the cemetery clean because it's like forgotten. Our loves here from here have been forgotten. And I think it's good that we all get together at least once a year and get all this cleaned up, you know. And because our loved ones are here, you know, and we got to keep it, keep up with it. Everybody should do it once a year. We should all get together and let's do it every year.